The most legendary beef in all of baseball is between a manager and a mascot. Hey, tell them son of a is up there. If, that t if I go one more time and this thing don't work, I'm gonna grab their asses. I'm tired of this Meet Tommy Lasorda, baseball's sweetheart. When he wasn't cussing out cameramen for no reason, he was the manager of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Lasorda is your classic skipper, hot-headed with a vocabulary that's as clean as a bar bathroom. He's also a two-time World Series champ and a two-time manager of the year, but most of all, he's known for showing no mercy to any mascot that stepped foot onto the diamond. He said you don't make fun of me. Meet Yuppie, the mascot of the Montreal Expos and a fan favorite to anyone who had the misfortune of buying a ticket to an Expos game. The day is August 23rd, 1989, a game between Lasorda's Dodgers and Yuppie's Expos. Also, just between you and I, if I had a time machine, I would go to Montreal and warn every fan outside the stadium to not go to this game. This is probably the most boring game in MLB history. The Dodgers and the Expos are both gonna finish fourth in their divisions, and this game is taking place in late August, which means neither team is really playing for anything. This game will last 22 innings, which translates to six hours and 14 minutes of airtime. If you're a Dodgers fan, you can watch the first inning at home, fly from LA to Montreal, and still have time to catch the winning run at the end of the game. But there is one thing you would have missed. Bob Davidson is throwing Yuppie out of the ball game. The first ever mascot ejection in all of sports history. In the top of the 11th in this snooze fest of a game, Yuppie donned a nightcap and gown, grabbed a pillow, and headed to the Dodgers dugout. In typical Yuppie fashion, he dramatically flopped onto the Dodgers bench, laid his head on his pillow, and took a cartoonish nap. Pop quiz. How do you think Lasorda reacted to this? Did he A calmly ask Yuppie to get off the dugout? Did he, B, consult the rule book to see what sort of rules were in place about mascots interfering with dugouts? Or C, ruin the fun for everyone? If you guessed A, what the f*** is wrong with you? Have you not been watching this video? This is Tommy Lasorda we're talking about. Just a year prior to this, he beat the f*** out of the Philly fanatic in front of women and children in a ballpark. He's obviously not going to be hyped about a cartoonish character sleeping on his dugout. Lasorda decided to blame his team's shitty performance on Yuppie being a distraction. But in an insane display of discipline, Lasorda decided not to beat the brakes off of Yuppie. Instead, he brought the issue to the attention of the umpires. Surprisingly, the ump obliged and tossed Yuppie out of the game. As you can see, he took the news well. Yuppie decided to take a play from Lasorda's book and threw his cap and pillow onto the field. Security escorted Yuppie away from the dugout. Eventually, 11 innings later, the game came to a merciful end. The Dodgers won off a go-ahead home run and put a lock on the Expos in the bottom of the 22nd. Thankfully, both of the teams had an off day the next day so they could process what had happened the night before. As for Lasorda, he actually went on to have a successful career in baseball and had no other run-ins with mascots. After getting a good night's sleep, Yuppie went on to serve the Expos for a few more years before moving on to becoming the mascot for the Montreal Canadiens. He was inducted into the Mascot Hall of Fame in 2020. No word on if the two ever made up.